So, again, this is a method book by Ferdinand Peltzer. Um, you can go to the previous post um, to see his instructive method for the guitar. This is his 150 exercises for the Spanish guitar. And this is um, a book that looks like it was handwritten, um, perhaps by Pelzer himself, but um, I'm not too sure. It could have been copied by someone. But it's really, really full of just great exercises here. So this first um, page that I've given uh, has some scales, uh, harmonized scales. And uh, if you go to the previous post, um, on Peltz's instructive method, you'll find some harmonized scales there, but this is even more comprehensive. We have scales in thirds, sixths, octaves, and then we have um, scales moving in a sort of chordal texture of three notes. So it's very, um, very interesting, very good exercise for the hand, especially for the left hand, when you start getting into three note scales like that. Um, I would argue that it's um, a lot more beneficial and useful and practical and relevant than some of the modern exercises that guitarists practice today. Yet it has just as much um, ad uh, advantage for the left hand, benefit for the left hand as as um, those modern exercises. So here is uh, exercise number one. It's just a scale in thirds um, with just a one octave range. I will try and play this a little slower, so let me do that again. Exercise two is similar, but we're gonna go, we're gonna start higher. So the they're beautiful exercises. I, I really encourage you to practice these. Um, here is exercise number three. It's a very similar thing as the previous two now, but we're doing a scale in sixths. Exercise four does that uh, in uh, higher up. Now we have um, exercise five is a scale in octaves. Exercise six is a scale in tenths. how 
great of an exercise this is for shifting and left hand placement across the, the fretboard there. Um, you get all the same advantages of doing things like Shira, but it's more musically focused. So exercise seven, now uh, a scale in chords. So we have three notes. again in exercise 8, but it's spaced a little bit differently. Again, spaced differently. spaced uh, differently so quite challenging when you have to do the D, F, and F. It can help if you really bring the elbow out and rotate. Play this, you kind of bring the elbow in. You could do an easier fingering if you want. You could do play anymore. There are more scales like that um, to explore in the method book itself. Um, so, but I strongly encourage practicing these exercises. I think they're fantastic. So enjoy.